Hi all, welcome to today's tutorial on how to create gradients as your background for your Scratch projects. So within Scratch itself, um, there is a functionality to be able to do a gradient straight away. So what I can do is that I can take a triangle, create a triangle here, and then just fill it up using the options here where I can select two different colors and get the outcome that I want. So if let's say I want a pink gradient against a black, then I can just simply do this and flip it around whichever way that I like it. So um, sometimes for the scratch projects, I would prefer to create my own gradient backgrounds just because I don't want to be restricted to two colors or I don't want such a smooth finishing on my gradient. So one way that you can do this is that um, it may be a very laborious way of doing it, but I just like it because you just get a lot more control over where you want your gradient to be and what the colors should look like. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is that I am going to create multiple blocks. So um, for the purpose of this tutorial, just 12 blocks in total. I'm just going to get rid of the outline and cr create a black. So what we're going to do is that we're going to create multiple colors in the gradient so that we can sort of arrange them in the row from darkest to lightest and then we can sort of manually create the nice pink gradient that we want to see between white pink and black so let's start by creating our 12 blocks of colors Have it. So now I have all 12 colors. I'm just going to rearrange them in order. I'm going to put more of the black because um, we're, what we're going to do at the end of this is create a background against a pink sky. So I want a bit more of the black so that, that the moon sort of looks um, bright against that background. So we'll have more of the black and then we'll just rearrange the rest accordingly in any order you like. So it doesn't have to be arranged um, in the same distance from each other. So it's just basically what you like. So that's when it's really good because you just get a lot of flexibility out of creating your backgrounds in this way. Okay, so what we have here is that we have all these 12 colors, all these 12 blocks of different colors in total in a nice gradient here. So how do we actually create a smooth gradient look? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to now change this to uh, a bitmap. So what you see is that the sides gets cut off and then I just have this nice square here. So what I'm going to do is that I am going to use the select option and then just select all of it and then make it really, really small and go back to vector. And now I'm going to pull it all right back. So if you notice that when we actually pull it right back, it, it will start stretching out all the colors. So we're going to do this again multiple times. So as you can see here, it starts to blur between all the colors now. So what we're doing is that we're going to do this multiple times until we get the nice gradient that we want and the one that we're satisfied with. So I'm just going to do this really quickly a few times just so that you can see what I mean. So as you can see, it starts blurring out a lot more right now after I changed it to vector. So I'm just going to continue it a few more times because I just want it to be really, really smooth. When I start plotting other pictures on it as well. Right, I think this will be the last one that we need. Let's see how that looks like right now. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with this, so I'm going to keep this as my background. So I'm just going to convert back to vector. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start drawing a background against the ocean. So I am going to change this to a black and reshape it so that I get a nice looking beach or cliff sort of look. So we'll just change this option and change, you can basically shape it whatever you like. So I'm just going to reshape it so that I have a nice sort of um, cliff and I'm just going to make it a bit jagged so it looks a bit more natural. So it doesn't have to be very specifically jagged. You, if you want it smooth, you can have it smooth. It's just what you like really. So there's a lot of freedom in doing backgrounds using Scratch. So I'm just going to make it a bit jagged because that's just how I like my backgrounds to be. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with how this looks. So I am now going to copy this. 
and then I am going to flip it so that I can save more time to create from creating another background. So I'm just going to move this down like this, and then you see it looks quite nice as well. So I'm just going to change it up a bit so that there's just more of the river or more of the pink that can be seen. All right, I think I'm quite happy with this as well. So what we're gonna do, let's add a nice white moon at the side so that it's nice and bright against our background. It really shows off that kind of contrast as well. Over here, I think that's a nice size. And next, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to draw a boat as well. I just like seeing a nice boat as a subject over here so let's just make it bigger so that we can draw it quite easily so i'm just going to draw a white line just to show the boundary between the sky and the river slash sea so we want a white line over here so it doesn't matter if it, your white line goes across you can always select your cliff here and then bring it to the front and it sort of hides away that and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a boat now. So I'm just going to pick a square and reshape it. Zoom in a bit more. Now let's shape the sides so that it's not a weird squarish kind of boat. I just want it to be like really nice and really cute looking. trying to get them even as well. So I'm just going to smooth out the sides. All right, I think I'm quite happy with what I have. So I'm just going to draw a nice tick line here so that I can have it where my flag is. So here like that. And then I'm going to do a white, nice white flag as well. So let's get rid of the outline and let's make that a white. And I'm just going to make this a triangle by getting rid of this point here and reshape it as well. Let's make this longer. And I'm just going to reshape it so that it has a bit of a flow as though the wind's blowing against it. So let's do that by adding a point here and curving it out. And then let's add one more point here and curve it back in. So you see, I think that's, there's a bit more character in the flag now. Right, and I'm just going to add one more gradient behind. I'm just going to add some shadow in my flag so that it looks quite nice with a bit of gradient. So I'm just going to bring this to the back. There you go. I quite like this now, but I think that there is something missing. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add stars as well, just to sort of bring this to life. So um, there are a few options. You can probably use uh, white dots because it looks quite nice against the black background. So that's why I wanted more black in um, the gradient that I did like, compared to like pink. So I'm just going to put this all over the place. It's quite small, so you won't be able to see that they're actually nice white circles. So I'm just going to add a few over here. Some big, some small. So even if it's uneven, that's okay as well. And for the finishing touches, let's draw a star as well. So I am going to draw a star by using a square like this. I'm just going to turn it around and start shaping it. Let's try and shape it. Let's make it really curved in. Yep. So you can see I can have I have a star now, but it's a bit uneven, so I'm just gonna reshape it a bit more so that it looks better. Alright. Okay. I think we have a decent looking star now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to do a copy of this star because I just want a nicer, cuter, complicated looking star. So let's just sort of move this around. Let's rotate it so that I have a star with more edges compared to what I have. And now 
I am going to shape it again so that it has it the all the points of the stars in a more even direction. Alright, I quite like that. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna bring this all out and I'm just gonna use this select because I want to group those stars together. Let's group that star. And now I can place it wherever I want. So let's put it here because it's sort of nice against the moon. And there you go. And I can reshape it as well to make it smaller or to make it bigger. So it depends on what you like. There. I think I like it where it is right now. So there you go. So that's our tutorial for this week. And um, if you find this really useful and really help, helpful to you in creating nice gradient backgrounds for your Scratch project, do click like and do subscribe for future Scratch videos. Thank you and see you next time.